I have been feeling so gross today and I went back through what I ate and realized I only had like a thousand calories yesterday, which is like half of what I normally eat. I mean, you think that eating low calories is actually going to make you reach your goals faster, but I don't know, is it, is it really worth it? Lately, I've been on a journey to lose a few pounds. Not a lot, about 10 or 15, but enough to be aware that I want it gone. Weight that has caused my clothes to fit a bit more snug, if they even fit at all. Weight that makes me feel more quickly winded when I'm working out. Weight that sometimes when I'm not careful makes me question what I see in the mirror. And weight that makes me rethink whether or not I want those cookies for dessert or that slice of cheese on my sandwich or that caramel sauce in my coffee. Because the journey of losing weight means to a great extent monitoring my portions being aware of my intake and tightening up just enough so that I'm not overly restricting, but still able to lose those few pounds in a healthy way. I usually think I'm pretty good at this, but on this particular day, I failed. Not on purpose, because if anything is true about me, I love to eat. In fact, it may be my favorite activity of all time. I love good food. I love different flavors. I love coming up with new recipes and ways to make healthier versions of my favorite foods, which can probably be summed up into all of them. I love all the foods. So I didn't set out to eat a thousand calories, but it happened and the effects were immediate. The day started out normally enough. I woke up, did my morning routine. I got in my workout. And even though I'm in a slight deficit, I felt good and energetic and strong. I then had my morning coffee. I look forward to my coffee every day creamy, sweet, and iced every single day. At one point, I tried to give it up for black coffee, and while I saved calories, I kind of hated my life, so now it's something I just allow myself. Yes, I'm drinking my calories, but I also enjoy my life, which I think is a good trade-off. So, like I said, the day started out normally enough, and with coffee in hand, I got showered and dressed and got ready for the day. Oh, and we had our ginger shots, which we've been trying to make a daily thing. I'm not quite sure when it got off the rails, but I imagine it had to do with this moment right here. The day was busy. I mean, <laughs> let's be real, every day is busy, but this day was particularly busy. Much of my work had to be squeezed into a smaller chunk of time than usual and without my typical breaks due to some evening obligations. On days like this, I try to be extra prepared with all of my meals because I know how zoned into the work I can get and how time easily and quickly slips away. Knowing this about myself and knowing that my schedule wasn't quite typical, I should have eaten earlier. I should have eaten more, but I didn't and I really paid for it. Many days I do my own unorthodox version of intermittent fasting where I eat breakfast around 10 or so and finish with dinner around seven. And typically it works well because not only does it help me eat fewer calories without really feeling it, I feel super focused during the day. And so my body is pretty trained to not get hungry until late morning and then not eat later in the evening. I mean, I eat, but not late into the evening. I should have realized that trying to fit my typical routine in a very atypical day which is not going to work. Even though I wasn't hungry, I should have eaten breakfast long before I did. The breakfast itself wasn't the problem. In fact, it was delicious and I absolutely will be making it again. These tamales from Trader Joe's were on point and I turned them into a brunch style meal sitting on a bed of baby lettuces and topped with eggs and cheese and salsa and all the yummy goodness this foodie loves. Truly, chef's kiss. It was incredibly satisfying and kept me super focused for the next stretch of work. So no, the actual breakfast meal wasn't the problem. The problem was the timing. This meal, eaten later in the morning, actually kept me quite satisfied for a while, which impacted my hunger cues for the rest of my shortened day, and not eating earlier led to the first negative impact the following day, being very unfocused. One day of eating too few calories made it so much harder for me to pay attention to my work the next day. My body was so hungry, and the only thing I could focus on was figuring out my next meal. It was hard to form complete thoughts. I had delay reaction time. I kept reading the same document over and over and over again because I couldn't quite remember what I just read. Had I known how this would affect me the next day, I definitely would have eaten my breakfast earlier so that I could be hungry for lunch. Between breakfast and lunch, these are usually where I have my biggest meals because it's when I need the most energy. 
By 2 p.m., it was way past time for lunch, but I wasn't super hungry, so I opted for a high protein snack. Now you gotta know, I find it so difficult sometimes to get enough protein while losing weight when I'm not intentional about it because all of my natural inclinations lead toward bread and cheese and potatoes. I could live off all of the carbs and dairy, but I need protein to keep me satisfied, help me keep whatever muscle mass I do have, and to support my workout. So since I was still somewhat satisfied from breakfast, I made this high protein snack rather than a proper lunch. A fatal mistake. Yogurt, protein powder, banana, peanut butter, and a few chia seeds for show. A great snack for a regular day with a decent amount of calories. But on a day when I needed to be out of the house by five, it was both too filling and not enough food for the amount of time I had because rather than eating dinner at six, I had to eat dinner by 4.30 to sustain me for the rest of the evening. Spoiler, it did not sustain me for the rest of the evening. It led to another negative side effect. Very, very low energy. The whole next day, I was so tired. I woke up at my typical time, but immediately fell back asleep for two hours. I did manage to get in a workout, but it wasn't very good, like at all. And I threw in the towel after about 15 minutes and just stared at the wall because I was too tired to do anything more. The energy was so low. <gasps> but at the time, I enjoyed my protein snack, energetic and blissfully unaware of how terrible I'd feel the next day. Dinner, 4.30. How about we all just take a moment to collectively roll our eyes at this early dinner time? Yes, my hubby and I generally eat dinner pretty early, but wow. Anyway, this might be the part that really went off the rails. I was prepared for the day and knew that I needed to make a dinner that was not just healthy, but also very quick. While perfect for a normal day, considering what I'd eaten before, this dinner just did not have the staying power to fill out a day of eating and hold me over to the morning. I made these amazing pot stickers with broccoli. As in made, I mean, Trader Joe's prepared the pot stickers. I just heated them up and turned them into a meal. A light dinner meal like this generally works for me because I usually eat much heavier during the early part of the day, but I was super focused and not very hungry. And by the time dinner came, I could only eat half of an already very light meal, leading to the third side effect, moodiness. To say I was cranky the next day was an understatement. I found myself annoyed and frustrated with every little thing. No avocado for the breakfast I wanted, annoyed. People taking a minute too long to respond, very displeased. People asking any questions, very, very displeased. But again, these effects didn't happen day of. No, no, they patiently waited for me to determine if they could stay at bay because I was going to eat more or if they needed to give me a harsh reminder of how important food is. So we left and when we got back home around 10 o'clock, I was a little hungry, but I have trained myself not to go to sleep immediately after eating. So I let it ride and went to bed. And if I'm honest, I was quite pleased with myself for the discipline, the discipline to be committed to my goals, the discipline to stay focused on the task at hand, to go to bed hungry and save eating for the next day because eating less than your calorie goal should make the weight come off faster, right? And given the option, under eating is much better than overeating, right? I think we know the answer to that. After a hungry, unfocused, low energy, emotionally unstable next day, it was clear for me that the benefits of under eating do not outweigh the cost. Aesthetic goals are perfectly fine. Our bodies are happy to help us meet them when we realize that they are so much more than how they look in a pair of shorts. So yes, we can have our calorie deficits and our portion control. We can do intense workouts and choose veggies over chips. We have to also remember not to take it to the extreme because at the end of the day, our bodies still need enough fuel to sustain basic life functions. And without it, the negative impacts are huge. Am I losing the weight quickly? No, but I am doing it in a way that feels sustainable for me and healthy for my body. And so I'm happy to report that the next day, I was back to fueling my body properly and I'm still on track to lose those few pounds in a healthy way.